It's day five of Defemoremba, your daily ephemera inspiration in December. This December daily series is all about making your own ephemera for your junk journals. This series is a collaboration with my dear friend Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. That means you get two videos per day to watch, one on my channel and one on her channel. And we've also mixed a lot of goodies and freebies into our videos and there will also be a giveaway. My name is Luisa Heinzel and I want to welcome you to this episode of Defemoremba with a new prompt from our list. Today's prompt is number or sentiment and ticket. Can there be a better combination in the world of junk journaling than number or sentiment and ticket. <laughs> This prompt for me is absolutely perfect. I'm so looking forward to create something with this prompt. Numbers or sentiments are always great, of course. They can make a junk journal really interesting and all of those little details and that stuff. They can be really meaningful. And tickets, you know tickets. I mean, tickets are one of the best things that I have experienced in my life, I can say, since I make junk journals. But we, of course, have something else here. So in this little paper bag, we are going to find the animal that we want to use today. And of course, one of our international snacks. So let's see. Oh, today we have the bumblebee. And we <laughs> that actually seems to match. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, these millions. Um, don't know what this is. Natural color contains real fruit juice. Oh, that seems to be something fruity today. And this comes from the UK. If you want to know more about our international th snacks and why we are tasting them in our Defemoremba videos, then please watch the video from December 1st. There I'm explaining this whole thing with those international snacks a little bit more in detail. And these tiny things <laughs> totally remind me to those little um, things from the flowers that the bumblebees are collecting. I don't know if Barbara has thought about that when she has um, put this into order. I mean, Barbara has bought those snacks and then she has decided in which order we want to taste them. Uh, Barbara, can you please leave a comment if you have thought about this? I, I don't know. I have to call her. Um, yeah. Okay. So that is what we, uh, want to use today. The, Cards with those animals and also the prompt list is available as a free download for you to print at home and use for your own ephemera creations during Defemoremba. The link is down below in the description box. And I'm wondering if we are going to have some drying time today because drying time, as you know, is always snack time. So we will save this for later. And I actually... Um, didn't have any breakfast today, so it's really early in the morning here. Uh, so I don't know if that's so good for my stomach if I <laughs> if I taste um, these millions here. But that are actually really much. I mean, that could last for the whole uh, video recording process, perhaps. There are lots of tutorials out there how to make your own tickets for your junk journals. For example, something like this. There are lots of tutorials how to make something like this by yourself with scissors and some punches. I will not show that in this video because my idea for today is a little bit different, but I have some tutorials where I show you exactly and in detail how to do that. And um, I have some videos where I'm showing different ideas um, on how to make single tickets for your junk journals. I will link all of those videos down below in the description box so that you can check that out if you perhaps are new to junk journaling, perhaps you are a beginner and you don't have any idea how to do that. Um, today's idea is a little bit different because I thought we can use those 
handmade tickets to create something like a flip out ticket booklet thingy. <laughs> I really don't know how I shall call that because I think for this ephemera that I'm creating today, there's no special name. This project um, was totally inspired by Marie. I'm hoping that I'm saying her name right. She is Junk Journal Treasure on Instagram and she has posted something a while ago that looks like this here. And in the inside, she has some tickets. She has also um, a video tutorial on her YouTube channel. I will link that down below for you as well so that you can check that out. She is doing the most amazing vintage ephemera thingies. And I'm such a big fan of her. So, Maria, if you are watching this video, I'm such a big fan of your work. You are doing such a great job with your things and your junk journal creations. And she has created a really interesting... Um, thing here on her project that holds the tickets in place you can actually take those tickets out um, I mean to be clear you can tear them out but they are here and they are connected to the base here and this is a little booklet is here another picture yeah here you can see that you can even flip those tickets like this. So there are several layers of these tickets. This is just amazing. And I want to um, try her method to attach the tickets to the base. So I have taken out this piece of scrapbooking paper. This is actually a piece of this paper pad here by Tim Holtz. Um, this is called collage I guess I'm a little bit confused <laughs> is that the name of the paper pad I guess um, so here it says paper stash it has uh, 36 papers in it um, if I can find this on Amazon I will link that down below for you and this here comes from one of those papers and I have just cut that into the size of my page but so that here is a little frame around um, this size of the, or around this paper here, because later on I want to glue that down to one of my pages. So um, I've just eyeballed that and cut that down to, yeah, the size that fits to my journal. And that's what I can recommend to do first, so that you get the proportion for your whole uh, thing. Since you have the size for your project you can take a second piece of scrapbooking paper this comes from the same paper pad that i have shown you before and you can cut a piece that is exactly the same size like the other one that you've chosen before and now i want to turn this piece into a ticket shape so this is actually going to become my base and this will go on top later but you can of course uh, decide that how you want to do that but i like this man here and i have a plan with the man so <laughs> please decide which one is going to become your base layer and now i want to turn this into a really giant ticket and that is actually really easy because we are just taking a ruler and we are measuring how wide this is and uh, we are going to find the middle of this so here is my middle i'm just making a little mark with my pencil and also on the other short side like this and then i'm going to take such a punch that just makes a round circle and I'm putting this in here and the most of those punches have these little marks here. I think it took me two and a half years to realize that this here is meant to use to find the half of the circle. Yeah, so that means when you put that in here, you don't have to, uh, you know, do it like this and eyeball it. You can just place it in there and line it up with this little mark there on the side and then you can punch and you will get a half circle and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I'm holding my punch the wrong way around so that I can see that this little mark that I've just made is in the middle of my circle. So I punch this here, 
and the same here on the other side. I'm taking some brushed corduroy to distress the edges. Next, I'm going to take this paper here and I'm cutting this in half. So that I have two pieces now. And this can now go here like this. And I'm lining this up here with the layer below. So I'm making sure that the edges are really well on top of each other. And I'm turning that around carefully and I'm making a little mark here with the help of the other ticket. So this is just my template to see where I want to cut the corners here now. Like this. So that it now looks like this piece here is part of the whole ticket. So now I want to attach this here to the base and for that I guess ooh, <laughs> exciting I will use some of the Tim Holtz fabric that Barbara has sent to me <laughs> that feels so strange to tear that I'm taking some double-sided tape to glue that down here and I've just cut my fabric into three smaller pieces so that I'm able to glue them down here now. When we have that, we can just turn that around, make sure that it is lined up really well. And then I'm going to attach three pieces of double-sided tape here as well. So now this flips open like this and I want to put some tickets inside here as well and to attach them to this giant ticket here I want to use the method that Marie has used here for her project and for this of course we're going to need some smaller tickets and since we have the animal bumblebee today, so we, we uh, don't want to forget that, <laughs> I have chosen some tickets with flowers. Because, you know, uh, bumblebees, they are uh, flying around and they are collecting their little, you know, I don't know the word, uh, from the flowers. <clears throat> and I have chosen these. They, these come from my teabag birds printable that you can find in my Etsy shop. There's an ephemera pack where uh, on one of those pages there are those tickets. I will link that ephemera pack down below for you in the description box. If you know that printable and that ephemera pack, perhaps you have it um, already at home in your collection, then you will realize that these tickets look a little bit different than on the actual sheet in the ephemera pack. That's because of the following thing. I need tickets that have a straight edge here. So these now have these little things here. This little, I don't know how, how that is called in English, but it's not totally straight, but um, we don't have a half hole here or something like that. And the, the tickets in my printable look a little bit differently. Um, so I have used the printable sheet and then I have taken a die cut from this set here. That's also from Tim Holtz and Zizix. The number is 665926 if you want to check that out. And I have used this ticket die here to cut them out. So they are still tickets but a little bit smaller and they have this straight edge here and they have all the same size. And now I want to put these in here but they shall peek out here a little bit. Perhaps like this. I just have to play around a little bit to see how much we need and um, how much they shall peek out. Okay, so when we have that, we can press one of the tickets down to hold it in place so that when we open that now here, we can see where this is ending. 
and I'm just making a tiny little pencil mark here to get the position of this ticket and this is exactly the end of the ticket and actually the end of the um, complete row of these tickets. And now I'm taking this piece here, so that is what is left over, uh, that was left over from here that I have uh, this, I have just cut off in the beginning. And I'm taking this and I'm cutting this in half so that I now can use one of these strips here that will go here later exactly there where my pencil mark is and now I'm taking another piece of double-sided tape lining this up here and then just glue that down and now I'm taking off this paper here from the double-sided tape and I'm using this here as a little hinge to attach the tickets to my thingy here. So this is actually a really sturdy material but um, flexible at the same time. Um, I guess Marie has used some more fragile paper to be able to tear that off really easily but I thought I want to take this here because um, yeah that's a personal problem or a personal thing I would say. Of course you can use now something to attach the tickets that can be torn really easily so that you can tear the tickets out of your um, little thingy here. I want to put this here into my ephemera idea junk journal that I'm creating here during Ephemeramba. That means I will not tear out my tickets from this thing later. Otherwise, it can't be a, de uh, a reference for future projects anymore. I want to have this as it is in my ephemera idea junk journal, so to say, unused yeah so that i can remember my idea and that's the reason why i'm taking a really sturdy material now to attach the tickets to this little thing here you can of course use something that you can tear really easily if you want to use this thing as a ticket storage and you want to tear those out that will make sense in a second so <laughs> i am just um taking this and this is, has actually a really perfect size i would say I'm uh, just cutting this into some smaller pieces. One, two, three, four, five. So we are going to need five little strips. And then I'm going to take some glue. And now you have to have in mind in which direction you want to put the tickets here so that you glue this to the right side of, of, the, of the ticket. So this is um, the order that I want to have and I'm putting these little strips to the back of the right side of the tickets. So that means I'm taking this, I'm turning that around, putting a little bit of glue here and then I put this little thingy here like this. I also went over this uh, edge here with my sewing machine to make that look a little bit more interesting and I have left those threads relatively long because I think that looks really interesting and now we can just take these and glue them down to our double-sided tape here And then we are going to need this little strip that we've just prepared. To glue that down, I'm using some book binders glue. And I'm just covering up this area now where I have this ugly things here. So then we have that. This is cool. <laughs> this is just cool. It looks like this. And now, of course, we can add another layer of tickets to make this look a little bit more interesting and also to have little variation when this is closed, that this is not 
two straight in one row. And for that, I want to use some tickets from my stash. These I ooh, these I mainly received in Happy Mails. So thank you to all of you out there who have sent Happy Mails to me with tickets. And also, of course, thank you for the other Happy Mails that you have sent to me. Um, this is just so gorgeous for me to have. There are some that I have never seen in my whole life. And I would like to include these as a special thing into um, this little ticket flip out thingy <laughs> and um, for that we are going to need um, another strip of double sided tape and we are going to need this last strip from the scrapbooking paper that we still have left over so um, this will go approximately here and now um, we can just play around with the tickets that we have here. For that, I'm closing that again so that I can see how it will look in the whole context and with the flowers and that I can see where I want to have those tickets. Okay, I think I like it like this. And uh, now there's something going on in my brain that is really hard for me to explain in English. So um, <clears throat> the original idea that came by Marie was that you can tear out the tickets from this little booklet. Yeah, so you can have it as a storage for your tickets. And of course, I could, <clears throat> if I would use this thing in a normal way and not in my ephemera idea junk journal, I could tear those tickets out and use them in my junk journal. If you have something like this and you have torn every ticket out, then this thing would be empty. Yeah, so when uh, Maria has her little booklet and she has torn all the tickets out and has used that in her journal then the book itself this little booklet would be empty and i thought perhaps we can do this in a way that it's not empty in the end so that means um i will glue these tickets down now but in a way that you can't take them out but it will look in the end like they are below this little belly band here. So this will go on top here now and they will be glued down forever. That means if I tear out these, then this area is empty. But I'm still left with this little collage here that makes the whole thing looking not empty. Do you know what I mean? So that's the reason why I'm taking this piece here now and I'm just putting a piece of double-sided tape of course you can also use glue but uh, this is for me the easiest way to do it you can also put glue on the back but uh, yeah double-sided tape is always great and we are going to glue this here like so but I think I want to have something that is peeking out here as well because here the longer tickets are coming out here as well so why not taking something and put that behind here so let's see i will first <laughs> that's not so easy uh, to not move that i mean ah so i will first take this off like this and then let's try a little trick <laughs> my goodness let's just hold this here a little bit in the air And try to grab all of the tickets and then lift it up again. That should be possible. Yeah, can you see that? Now we have them all here. Whoa, I'm a little bit proud of myself. <laughs> so they are all here now. And we can vary this a little bit and we can take um, more tickets and put them behind here so that they are peeking out on the other side as well. And then we can take this whole strip and glue that down.
And now when this is here and when this is completely dry, we have this little thing as some kind of a decoration and we can still lift these up and tear them out because we have this white paper underneath where we can tear them out. And when this everything of this is empty, then this is still left as a decoration. Or, of course, you could also take the tickets from here, put your finger here to this little fake belly band, and put the finger here and just tear that off here. Then you would have a tiny scrap of your ticket. That, of course, would also be possible. It looks nice when it's full and filled. But, of course, put your finger here and just take this off and you would have this little tiny um, thing for a collage or for something else. I think that's great. So then we can go on with the bumblebee, I would say. I will this time just cut her out from this card. Um, this bumblebee. I wanted to have her as some kind of a focal point, but I'm not sure where she shall go. Perhaps it's a he. Um, perhaps somewhere here. But I guess here's something missing in the back. I want to have something that she is standing out a little bit more and I'm just thinking about, hmm, what about a cluster? Uh, I just came across this uh, bunch of clusters here. <laughs> you have seen that in my last design team project that I have made for Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. And I just came across these and thought uh, they are made out of stamps and tickets. So the idea behind these clusters was to combine stamps and tickets, I mean postage stamps uh, here, and tickets. And um, I have used some scraps from the left, uh, I mean leftover scraps from my, my previous design team projects that I have done for her. And uh, I have combined that to these clusters and they, for me, they turned out really great. And I'm just thinking these would match so well to today's prompt. Why not? That is too much, but why not finding one that would work and that is not too big and empty enough to put the bumblebee on top? Oh my goodness, I mean, this one was not so bad. I guess that this snack from the UK is called millions because there are actually millions of possibilities to put this last thingy there to my project. Vimpto Remix. Natural color contains real fruit juice. Mixed fruit flavored chewy millions sweets made with the secret Vimpto flavor. Oh. <laughs> Crazy! Wow. This smells really fruity. <sighs> so this actually looks like these little tiny things that the bumblebee is collecting. <laughs> Very small. Mm. Sticky. Very sweet. It tastes a little bit like oranges. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure if this is my snack. I mean, it's my snack, but do you know what I mean? To be honest, um, it, it tastes not very natural. It's like these typical um, chewy thingies that seem to be fruity, but I don't know. 
perhaps perhaps I have to put more in my into my mouth to be able to have a bigger piece. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness mm -hmm. to be honest I don't like them mm. no I don't like them so I will put the rest of these Whew into my little bowl here to be able to put this into my candy channel i think it's it's three out of ten i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry okay so uh, i'm not sure if that has helped to give me a solution here let's see so um, I actually wanted to have this man as a part of the focal point of my thing so before the millions <laughs> I had it like this or like this and that's definitely too high for the whole thing but what about putting it like this down here so that we see more of the man and that he's not so much covered by this element here. Then the bundle bee, like this. And uh, I mean, I like this here, <clears throat> but this paper is suddenly a little bit strange it's a little bit too vintage it has not so much contrast than for example this paper this and this is both very vintage and the tickets and the rest is very colorful but this is vintage in another way than this do you know what i mean this has not so much contrast and i guess we can perhaps i mean i have these left over we can perhaps add a tiny little bit of these tickets somewhere here to this thing so that that looks not so separated in the beginning i said numbers and sentiments are always great for junk journal projects <laughs> so why not taking out a stamp set that has some tiny numbers on it this is the eccentric set by Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz. This is the number CMS448. And I think we can add a little bit more contrast and more BAM here and there. And also some more details. I think this is made out of, I mean, this is made out of several tiny pieces, but I am, the details are missing at the moment, I guess. And perhaps that's why I'm not totally satisfied yet. Yeah. No. <sighs> yeah, okay, so abstract stamping. Lesson number one, <laughs> if you want to have a really ugly and abstract stamping, then move your acrylic block while stamping. Ding dong! Psst. Check out my website. There's a new freebie for you. Enjoy! Dear birdies, I really love you, but you have to go now. I think you have to go now. <laughs> because I really want to put this here. Um, but I will glue this down here so that it still is a pocket. So that we now have it here like this. 
and I can still take something and put it in here into my little pocket now. Um, perhaps there will be some ephemera that I'm creating during Defemorember or after Defemorember. No matter what it will be, I have the chance to put it behind here into this little pocket. Now we can open this up like this and we have our little tickets here. Um, we can still use this as journaling space. That's also something that I really enjoy. I mean, imagine taking a white pen and writing something here that would look really interesting. It's some kind of a uh, hidden journaling spot at the same time. Um, I really like it, but you know me. <laughs> we are going to need, definitely going to need some white splatters. Okay, so this is my finished project for today. I hope you liked it. If you want to create something similar for your own junk journal and you would like to post that on your social media, then please use the hashtag Defemoramba. You can also find that written down in the description box of this video so that you can just copy and paste it to use it for your own posts. And of course, you can also use that for your own YouTube videos. If you perhaps have an own channel and you want to make some videos for Defemoramba, of course, you are invited to do, to do that then please also use the hashtag Defemoramba so that the others can also find your videos on YouTube. They will all be listed below this uh, hashtag or, or they can be found with the help of this hashtag very easily so that uh, we can ins inspire each other and learn from each other and have fun with each other. And please don't forget to check out Barbara's video the link to her channel is down below in the description box. You can see on her channel today what she has made out of today's prompt, number or sentiment and ticket in combination with the bumblebee. I wish you very much fun with your own creations and perhaps we will see tomorrow when we are going on with our next prompt from our list. So have a very great day and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Scheiße, was klappert denn hier so? Ich bin so schmutzig.